Are you ready, Stone Nation? Mantra Domus. Welcome to Beast the Odds. I am your host, Muncher Domus. It is Friday, August 16th. We still got a few weeks, a couple weeks of preseason football left. Before we get into that, let's do a little recap of what the big news stories are. Once again, you can catch it. Okay. Welcome to Beast the Odds. I'm your host, Muncher Domus, and thank you for joining me on Friday, August 16th. Before we get started in today's episode, I want to remind you all that beastome.com, you can go to the website and you can see all my latest content. And for all those that are listening on Spotify, thank you. You can catch the stream there as well. Let's get into the top storylines from Thursday, August 15th. Let's start with Demarius Thomas. He's coming off an Achilles injury. He's resumed practicing. Honestly, been following this story very closely all preseason. He's not even close. He's going to miss the first four or six weeks guaranteed. Don't even think about drafting him in any league. Next up, the Athletics' Nate Taylor. Notice the Athletics' Nate Taylor left Carlos Hyde off his 53-man roster. So, first of all, this is just a writer who... Look at this. His explanation is article is mostly related to Hyde's quiet preseason opener. The Chiefs had Hyde as the running back for every single play of the first team's offense drive, first team offense. Mahomes threw the ball every single time. He got them down to the one yard line. They gave the ball to Carlos Hyde, who cashed in on the touchdown. When you just look at a box score and you don't think about the entire thing of the game, it's it's crazy how people, you know, can make these assumptions. Anyways, Carlos Hyde's going to make the roster, guarantee it. Every, I, I presume that Nate Taylor is going to be cut from the athletic and left off the 53-man roster. I didn't go beast who can easily emerge as the number one running back for this Chiefs team. Next up is Ty Johnson. Now, Ty Johnson, this guy's got a lot of speed. If you watched the Beast cast last week, you would see that I was talking about how CJ Anderson looks like a stick of butter. The guy ate his contract money. He looks fat and out of shape. I'm just going to say it. CJ Anderson, he has no place on this Lions roster. It's going to be Ty Johnson's the guy that you're going to want to watch uh, in this one. He's got a lot of upside. He will be backing up to carry on Johnson. You can get the Beast Dome draft guide to see if Carry On Johnson's even a consideration. I'll give you a clue. He's not. All right, next up for the Dolphins is Josh Rosen. The coach wants him to improve his intangibles. Now, going into tonight's preseason game, Fitzmagic looked great last week. He was running for first downs on third and short. He was making defenders run into each other. He was classic Fitzmagic. Magic is going to start the season as the opener for sure this opening starter but rosen is a guy that the dolphins really need to see if he can be the guy he looked good in his last preseason game rosen but it was against backups he should do well again i like that game we'll get back to that tampa bay miami game later next up cleveland odell beckham dealing with a hip injury he's he's he says it's okay i'm gonna take his word that it's okay Melvin Gordon, this is big news right here. He's prepared to sell the preseason, right? But he's saying he's also prepared to sit out week one. However, he insinuated in all of this that Melvin Gordon is going to be coming back this season. He said that he said that basically he was willing to come back to the team, but he's prepared to sit out week one. He wants his money. He's going to get his money regardless. I'm sure the deal's on the table. That trade demand was just bogus. Melvin Gordon, he's great value. If you're still getting him in round two, amazing, because he's going to be back. Here's some news as well. Keenan Allen, the injury-prone Keenan Allen, dealing with the ankle injury. Now, that does help Mike Williams' stock. However, it does not really matter because Keenan Allen is expected to be back before week one. I honestly would not give Mike Williams any other stock 
fantasy football analysts. I know you're watching this right now. So I'm just saying, not worried about Mike Williams. It's going to be a lot of targets going a lot of places. But when Allen's healthy, he's the number one. When Melvin Gordon's back there, he's the number two. And then Hunter Eckler, those guys are going to get their targets. So in Indianapolis, there is some guarded optimism that Andrew Luck's going to be ready. So they're like, he might be ready. You know, we were sure he's going to be ready. But Jacoby Brissett is a fine guy if we need a plug in there for week one. Andrew Luck was never part of the Beast Dome draft strategy. And for everyone that took him, they should be a little concerned. I mean, his rushing numbers are definitely going to be down on the year. And a hit to the ankle in the NFL, that, that happens. And now the headline story of the night, Kyler Murray. Now, I'm going to start out by saying yes, Kyler Murray was my week two preseason beast of the night. I was talking about how the Cardinals would be, it'd be a nightmare if the Cardinals did not keep the starters out there until they scored a touchdown. And what ended up happening is Kyler Murray looked horrible. Not only did he not get a touchdown, they benched him before he had the opportunity to get a touchdown. So the opportunity was there. He played late into the second quarter, about the seven minute mark. He was pulled after a safety. But overall, before I get into my analysis of Kyler Murray, and I want to be crystal clear on this. I want to be crystal clear. All right. This is an article on July 14th with my Beast Dome free bus. I'm going to show you the date. The 14th, 15th, sorry, the 15th, the free bus strategy. Now, I gave this to everyone to tell them to not take any of these players, all right? We're going to actually start with the first round again with David Johnson, just to hit on that really quickly. The Cardinals offense is absolutely garbage. There is no reason anyone should take David Johnson round one. So I'm going to leave that there because that's for sure. But I'm going to fast forward to round 10 where Kyler Murray was my 10th round bust. And there's a link for an article I wrote about July 9th when I wrote about how he was the first bust of anyone. Now, yes, I liked him this preseason matchup, but it's preseason football. I felt it was almost a guarantee that Kyler Murray was going to get a touchdown, especially against the Raiders at home. Come on now. So anyways, yes, I was wrong. But now I want to get into, I was wrong on Kyler Murray being a preseason beast. But if anything, definitely do not draft him in any league. Like I've been saying all year, like I posted, he's a bust. Do not draft him in all leagues. I'm going to tell you why Kyler Murray is so bad and does not deserve any consideration. One, his rookie awareness is level zero. Yes, the box score can say he had a couple of delayed games. And yes, he did, and that is completely unacceptable. But I also want to point out another thing. When he comes out under center on shotgun, he's in shotgun all the time. He doesn't scan the field very well. He goes like this, one eye to the other. You don't see him scan the field like Peyton Manning or Brady. I don't even know if he's really scanning the field. And a lot of times he gives it away and he comes up, he doesn't even scan the field, snaps it and hands it off to David Johnson. Like everyone in the world knows, Kyler Murray didn't even look to see what the defense was. He was just running the play. And Cliff Kingsbury, this guy is not ready to be an NFL coach at all. He has zero coach charisma. He's throwing temper tantrums on the sideline. He, he looks like he has no idea what he's doing. The Cardinals are going to be so awful this year. So awful. Don't forget, Patrick Peterson is out the first six games. He's suspended. There. Two and four would be an amazing record for the Cardinals coming to start the season, but that's probably not even going to happen. Kyler Murray is a bust among busts, and I, I think this is funny right here because they say, despite how horrible he was, and he was, he was throwing the ball over receiver's head like he was rushing things. There was one time where a pass rusher was coming, and before the pass rusher was even there, he just falls to one ankle to, fall, to throw it away. Look, the problem with Kyler Murray is that his receivers are not that talented. Christian Kirk's not good enough to beat number ones. There's no way anyone can win that argument. Not even good enough to beat number twos in reality. Fitzgerald, he does not have the speed anymore. He is definitely a possession receiver, and that is all. And besides that, there's really no one else for Kyler Murray to throw the ball to. And David Johnson, the Cardinals are going to go three and out every single drive. Do not even think about drafting a Cardinal. 
Okay, I will admit this. I will admit this. If Larry Fitzgerald falls late in the draft, he's okay in a PPR league. And I'm going to say because Kyler Murray, he wants to throw to a living legend. Like, that's his destination. But I'm not saying Fitzgerald's going to be a beast. He'll have like seven catches for 66-yard type of performances, which are fine in PPR leagues. He's, a, he's not a high upside player, but he is a safe wide receiver three. On his best days, he's putting up a wide receiver two type of season. That's on it if everything goes right. But honestly, it's not looking good for Arizona. I have no faith in the Arizona project this year. I can almost guarantee they won't make the playoffs. And Kyler Murray is going to be a worthless player. Yet his ADP is 102. And that is all I'll say about Kyler Murray. And that is the only love I will give Kyler Murray for the rest of the 2019 season. Maybe in the future. If he gets a star receiver, things will change. But with this wide receiver core, they really needed their boy and Michael Crabtree. I really want to thank you all for joining me on Beast the Odds. I'd like to thank the sponsors above Monkey Night Fight promo code BEAST. Deposit $10, you get my Beast Dome draft guide. You can do that or you can do Play Draft, which is Snake Drafts. Deposit $10, promo code BEAST DOME. You can DM me if you have questions. You can send emails to beast at beastdome.com. Check out Beast Dome, the Beast Your League. Beast.